Oh, okay, okay. Good morning. A beautiful day in Hoi. Um, we are going to go out today on the bike uh, for a bit of a trip round because this is the ancient capital of Vietnam. So there's lots of old sort of buildings, temples, yeah, temples. tombs. So we're going to go out on the bike, see some of those. And we're... we've also found an abandoned water park that we're going to go and explore. It's not too far away. No, no, it's near some of the tombs as well. So obviously they thought, oh, let's put all the put all the put stuff all together. together, put it all together. Um, so that looks kind of interesting. Uh, mm. Some people online say you have to bribe a, a guard, but he's not a guard. He's just a guy that hangs around uh, at the war park. Yeah. So we'll, yeah, we'll see what happens with yeah. that. But um, yeah, come with us on our journey to tomb. No, temple running. And, temple running. Yes. Uh, water parking. Yes. Let's go. Ready. Some facts. Okay. So I've learned some facts. Yeah. So Don Khan, who was buried here, mm. was the ninth emperor of the Nagayan dynasty of Vietnam. He reigned for four years. Four years, is that it? Yeah, it's not a long time, is it? No, it's not a very long time. They obviously get through emperors like we get through prime ministers. <laughs> keep going, keep going until we find a good one. Is that the scale of a very little man? Hello. What do you do if I touch it and it crumbles? <laughs> It's said that uh, Don Cahan ruled Vietnam under the French, well, while well, the French also ruled, I don't really understand how that works, and apparently some of its architecture is French inspired, but I don't see anything particularly Eiffel Towery. Is there a Cafe Rouge around there? Mountain and Ah, this is what we need. So King Don Don Khan, Khan uh, he didn't actually build his mausoleum himself. Oh, I didn't realise this, but people build mausoleums for themselves, uh, which I guess is kind of cool because you're like, do you know what? I want to be buried in some like, awesome place. You're going to do it yourself, aren't you? You're not going to entrust it to someone else when you when mm. you do die. Uh, but he didn't actually get to build it himself because he died died mysteriously. Died mysteriously. So it was actually built by, I think his son, and it was built over a long period of time because of other things that were going on in Vietnam. So that's why apparently it's in different styles of architecture, which I guess it kind of, maybe it is. I don't know, I haven't completely seen that yet. That's the actual tomb, that's where he's actually buried up in. Yeah. And that looks a lot older than the bit we're about to go to. Yeah, yeah, true. Let's go and check this bit out anyway. I think this is the Vietnamese. Comparing it to that, I feel like that was a bit more French. I didn't think it was French at the time. I even made a joke about it, but actually, this isn't very French, is it? No. That's nice though. Pretty. Yeah, really amazing. So that 
was nice, wasn't it? Yeah, really nice. On to the next destination. Just pulled over into someone's house again. We always get ourselves in any yeah. random situation. Yeah, just pulled up into someone's house so we can park our bike there and walk down to the water park and got a little drink of drink of water as well while we were there. Um, so the I think... guy there also told us, I said, oh, do you have to pay? And he said, oh, yeah, it's 50,000 dong to the security guard. But security other people guard. have said that you don't pay. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> oh, also, something else I should have mentioned is uh, I lost another pair of glasses and I've got a new pair, which are Ray Bonds. No, Roy Bonds. Very good. Oh, okay, okay. So we had an interaction with a security guard. Um, we unfortunately couldn't film it. No, annoyingly, he he obviously got really uh, he got really rattled when I had a camera out, and then he basically told us to leave before I even got to a point of being able to bribe him anything. And then I was like, oh, well, this is really annoying. So we we sort of carried on, even though he said just turn around and go back. We carried on walking anyway. Came up to him. And then I was like, all right, I'll put my camera away so that he doesn't get uh, angry. Yeah, he was not happy about the camera. Yeah. Um, Probably and he's not the real <laughs> Yeah, Yeah, almost like that, isn't it? And then I went oh, to we give him... Oh, did flash us his police badge for a second. Oh, yeah, we did sort of see Yeah, that's a photocopy. Um, so we paid him 50,000 dong to come in. Uh, I wouldn't even call it. I wouldn't even call it a bribe. Like a lot of people online like to call it a bribe. It's not a bribe. It's just a guy who's standing outside the park who's like, asking for donations essentially. Um, but he's got just he's uh, got a good like police officer security guard costume. On. Yeah, he's... <laughs> he's got the sunglasses. He's got the cap. <laughs> he's got to encounter oh, him again. Also, he doesn't take the money in in his hand. <laughs> Uh, what he does is he wants you to put it in a plastic bag on his bike. I don't know how that, I don't know whether that gets him out of, so there's some sort of legal Maybe reasoning. Maybe because not, you haven't given it to so him. I didn't give it to him, I'll put, him in, put it in a plastic bag on his bike, so technically <laughs> I haven't bribed him. Anyway, we're in now, so let's go and have a wander around the... It's pretty cool. Yeah, it does look quite cool. I think this must have been a, uh, what do they call it, aquarium tunnel? Yeah, like you can walk through. Yeah, somewhere. where the fish sort of swim over you and stuff. Mm. Yeah, I guess this was just uh, an aquarium, wasn't it? Use a hand. I'm just trying to film some like B-roll, and you got a you got interject with a joke. Yeah, that's you? funny. It, right, regardless of whether it's funny, I'm trying to film a bit of B-roll. I don't need. Thank you. I know you're trying to think of something to say. Come on. Use a hand. For that right, there yeah, we go. I think that big uh, dragon is like a, the sort of entrance and it seems to have like the changing rooms and stuff. So there must be like slides and more things around here. Yeah. Where's all the slides? I don't know, I haven't got a park map. Maybe across that bridge. Okay. Can we get across there? Yeah. Also, it's not that abandoned. One, because there's a fake security guard who's making money out of tourists. And two, oh, I guess because yeah <laughs> two because um there's quite a few other people well there's not loads of people there's i don't know maybe like 10 other people here and three there's a yeah there's a woman who sells the <laughs> tin of coke or like a bottle of water or whatever you want so yeah it's not that abandoned they should really just like put some money into it and charge people properly to come in yeah it'd work people would come oh yeah def well people already are coming 
I guess it's just not worth doing. Anyway, that guy's can... making a killing. He is, yeah. I bet he didn't do his taxes. <laughs> How dare you? I don't know what you'd put on your tax return form, to be fair, if this was your job. <laughs> anyway, we continue. So, um, the park was actually opened in 2004. Uh, and they spent something like 70 odd million Vietnamese dong, which I think is about, uh, I think it's about two, back then it was about two and a half million pounds. They built quite a few different things. So that's the entrance. There's a bunch of slides down here. There's like some sort of music, uh, music sort of auditorium place where you could have concerts and stuff. So, oh uh, yeah, I think we can, f we found these slides. So we're going to go and check the slides out anyway. <laughs> I wouldn't want to plonk into that water. No. You could probably do a bit of chlorine. Yeah. So I think this is the amphitheatre. Am amphitheatre? Amphitheatre? Yeah. Welcome. This is a big old set. Yeah, I reckon you can get a couple of thousand people in here. And there's obviously like some sort of water, yeah. I don't know, I guess they can do some sort of water show, show I don't know what. You wouldn't, put a, you wouldn't put a dolphin in there, would you? Maybe a crocodile. Maybe a crocodile. So that's the end of the water park. That was fun. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. Eerie. Yeah, interesting place. At the end though, he wasn't letting any more tourists in, the security right. guard. Really odd, because surely that's his whole business, is uh, extorting money out of tourists. But I think he got a bit rattled. Yeah, he seemed a bit, he seemed a bit funny. Anyway, we got in, so that's the good thing. Yeah, nice day out in Huawei. Definitely, I recommend that as a place to go. Yeah. It's a bit of a different one though, but it's a good place to go. Anyway, we're going to carry on, and don't know what to do now. Get a bit of lunch. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.